Give your last name. The Holy Spirit and fire operate together for power. Amen. It is the devil's job to send fire extinguishers your way. Think of a matchbook. One match on fire for God and you put it with the book. What's going to happen? The whole, but the whole rest can catch, right? Yes. This is why God makes us, each and every one of us, have a calling on our life. Ministers of fire. Mm -hmm. Because we're supposed to go there and ignite the flames. The hoops. But if the enemy knows that if he could just out your light, you want to reach that people? See, you all have the, the biggest calling on your lives. Know you been through hell. And what a lot of people don't realize because they end up living defeated lives, they never know the purpose for which they were called. All they know is tragedy and curses all their life. All they know is abandonment, all they know is hurt. You have to understand that the demons that are coming after you are to match your calling. So if you are not walking in obedience, they are to march you right up. You are a match for what they are sending to you. So if you are bored and crying in the corner, what you think they can do? Uh, under their feet. When God gave us the to do what? Trample on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. Even the devil himself. You know, scared of demons. What are the fire extinguishers? Laziness, procrastination, excuses. Sometimes the devil will send a lover your way to out your light. Alcohol, drugs, quench that fire. You know, last night, on my way to work, I saw something black in the corner of my eye. I said, not tonight yet. So he made God of his understanding. I said, God, if people can die, make sure I aim when I wake up. Because I don't like having the right long report and a police report. I said, God, I can work for eight hours. I don't wake up. Because I do in your work. I say, if it is for me to intervene in the lives of your people, they do the same for them. But I am working and cleaning up behind the devil. No, no, no. I don't work for you, God. So, I instantly had a vision of this gray dog. It, it's not a dog I've ever seen. It was like a hound, but it was bigger than a hound. It was gray. And then I saw it turn into a skeleton, but instead of the skeleton bones being white, they were gray. And all I know what God says is death. I say, oh! I say, well, I bind and rebuke the spirit of death. Because what the spirit did, it would, it would gallop along cars and zip in the bush. Then it would hide, then it would come back out and pounce on top of different cars. Some cars he couldn't stay on, other cars he had to fall off and he went back in the bush to hide. So I said, okay. I pray all the way to work. I buy and rebuke the spirit of that. My thing then. My mother has been in 10 minutes of waking. They call us. Well, they call the next ambulance. Tree car condition. I say, hold on, let's go on again. I say, what time it is? After curfew. Yes. I say, uh, y'all y'all let us know if y'all need to say. Must be two minutes later. Car versus pole. I said, God, I said, I said, me and what to talk this morning. Gone out there, the car right off. I said, yeah, what is this? He said, bring the car, I had to go look good. Not a scratch. My God. My God. My God. Not a scratch. 
God. 